Tonight on 10 at 10, a cop directing traffic is grazed by a car. But what happens next is now under investigation by his fellow officers. We'll show you what he did tonight on 10 at 10. And now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thank you for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Yates. A man wanted in connection with a carjacking in Longview turns himself in. We're told that Wesley Smith surrendered to law enforcement last night. He had other warrants out for his arrest and turned himself in on those charges. He is accused of stealing two cars and carjacking a third during a crime spree Monday night. Now, this is a story you'll only see on CBS 19. The victim from Monday night's carjacking in Longview is now speaking out. I was very scared yesterday. I was terrified. Loretta Bowie tells us she never even saw Wesley Smith walk up when she was parked watching her grandson at a baseball practice, police say Smith had stolen two cars from a used car dealership and wrecked them before carjacking Bowie's car. She says she's thankful to be alive. And that happened over the coaches, you know, I said, you know, God, I could have been, you know, he could have killed me anyway, you know, he could have killed me. Police do not know whether he was armed during the carjacking. Smith's bond has not been set yet. He is in jail on robbery charges. Smith County Sheriff Larry Smith is requesting more money for the department's budget to hire employees and then keep them. The sheriff says in the past year and a half, one-third of his employees have left the sheriff's office. He says it's because his department cannot offer competitive salaries and benefits. The sheriff also requested money for additional jailers for the new jail, new patrol cars, and more dispatchers. The commissioner's court will review the sheriff's budget along with the budgets of other county departments, and they will make a decision on approval at a later date. Well, we are getting ready to head into a holiday mm -hmm. weekend. Lots of people, of course, making plans. And, you know, we're going to want the weather to cooperate. <laughs> yeah, Scott's the big guy this week. He Let's is. get over to him in the Weather Center for an update on our forecast. Scott? Clint, Dana, your forecast today on this midweek Wednesday as we get ready for July 4th here in a couple of days. It's going to feel like July today. An unseasonal, though, a July cold front headed south through the East Texas area, providing us with a 20 to 30 percent chance around lunchtime today for scattered showers and storms as we see the mercury climb into the upper 80s by then. Wind shifting around out of a west and finally northeasterly direction behind this front as it settles more than likely just along or south of the Highway 31 corridor running east-west through East Texas from about Athens over to the Tyler vicinity to Kilgore over to Longview and then just to the south of Marshall by your drive home this evening. It's a slow-moving system triggering scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms along and ahead of that front. And you can see with our forecast map here, our model throughout the day, spotty hit and miss showers and storms. This is a picture at one. Throughout the afternoon, early evening hours, additional showers and storms. More energy working in from the northwest overnight tonight. 40% chance for rain tomorrow. Slight chance for rain July 4th. All right, thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. Then tune in later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. Hope you have a great day.